So this has been my obsession for the last little bit. Puzzles. So as you can see, I'm currently doing one of Alice in Wonderland. And I've just been so enjoying them. You can see that we bought a ton of them over there. And we've been doing a lot of them. I've been doing a lot of them. Chris hasn't been so super involved. Just a little bit. So I started this one. But literally within a week, I also made these two. Because I'm a little bit puzzle crazy right now. So this one of Mickey and Minnie, we ended up, Chris and I ended up doing together. It was so much fun. And then I also ended up doing this one of Sleeping Beauty, eh, which is also adorable. The fridge is yelling. I just wanted to tell you about my puzzle craze. So this is not very good. Something happened. The basic gist of it is that the shelf that I showed you in the office, in the last vlog, the shelf uh, that I'm using for my gaming and streaming setup in this in the office in this room it uh, It fell out of the wall and one of the shelves shattered. This is all that's left of The thing uh, that shelf down there is the, All the glass you just saw all this right here. It's a lot of glass. It was all over the floor all down here and whatnot Completely and totally just like shattered everywhere and it's my own fault. It's I have no one to blame but myself I so I mean obviously for the stuff like this they recommend you put it in studs Like in the wall studs, but the only in this wall the only places that there are studs is right here and over here and so This the TV was easy to put into a stud because it, they're kind of like going at an angle uh, into the stud the screws for the TV and they're like very solid the TV is very solidly in there uh, To the point where it was like really hard to screw it in towards the end of like screwing those in uh, But the the shelf the glass shelf It I didn't want it to be like right on the edge like this was I didn't want it to like stick out a bunch out here uh, because I don't know I just I didn't want to do that and <laughs> It was, st I don't know, it was really stupid. I, I did it anyway and I could like tell it was like not super sturdy at all. Uh, but I was like, okay, it feels like, I, I was like moving it around a little bit and like it feels like this could totally hold just like the weight of a PS4. The PS4 is pretty light. Uh, the shelf itself is, kind of, is a little bit on the heavy side with the glass and whatnot. But I really thought it would be okay as long as I didn't like mess with it at all. Uh, it would really just like stay. And... I was wrong. I, I was in here and it just kind of fell out of the wall and smashed everywhere. I caught it a little bit. I caught, like, I, it was very, it was, all happened like an instant. I, like, I caught it and, like, I caught, stopped the PS4 from, like, getting in all the shattered glass and whatnot. And the PS4 is perfectly fine. Everything is perfectly fine except for the shelf. Uh, so it, it was really stupid. I feel really dumb about, like, letting that happen and doing it so I did go out and get another shelf this time not glass and I I will I'll show you but it's not glass to start with because that was a dumb idea also I thought it looked kind of cool like in the pictures online so I got it. it was like 20 bucks and they're also they're letting me send it back to them for a refund which I was really surprised about they said hey, yeah if I just sent it back to them they would they would send me I mean, they would give me a refund my money back, so all I have to do is just take it to the UPS store and they'll they'll send it back for me. But so I got this other shelf. Uh, it's a it's a metal shelf. It looks this is upside this picture. <laughs> I just picked this box up upside down, but that's what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. I already put it up because I just wanted to make sure it worked. It's like not as nice looking, and it's a little bit smaller, which I don't know. It's fine. Like there's a lot of stuff on here right at the moment. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of complicated stuff going into this setup because of this whole like wanting to stream things thing. And so it's just like, what happens sucks, but this one is a lot, is gonna work out a lot better, both because it can't, the gla the shelves can't break and shatter everywhere, but also because I bought these toggle bolts. If I had known these existed, I probably would have gotten them for the glass shelf, but I did not know they existed. Basically, they have this little thing in them that you put on it uh, and you can kind of see it like really hold it steady and I did that for I did four of them in here I didn't use the screws that I, the bolts that came with I used these bolts instead and I used four of them and It is very 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 secure like probably excessively secure for For the shelf and stuff and then I also picked up uh, these headphones because I was having issues with with uh, the stream 
thing, like capturing both. I was having a hard time having headphones, which I'll need. So like I can't have sound coming out of the TV when I'm streaming because then you'll hear it in the stream on the microphone and the stream's going to be sort of delayed. So like the delay will happen. It'll be like kind of this weird echo thing happening and it won't be very good. And so I'll need to wear headphones, but the headphones, the PS4 won't let you send audio both through the HDMI to the TV uh, slash through the uh, capture device, which is back here now, the Elgato. Uh, it won't send it through there and through headphones at the same time. So these headphones will help with that. They're uh, optical, digital optical headphones and they're wireless. So this is like a charging dock and you like take them off of here and just put them on and yeah, they're surround sound. So they should be pretty nice and just really good for like uh, gaming in general. Just like, yeah, and for streaming especially, they'll be really good. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave the camera just like laying here while I'm not using it. And then it'll be set up like, like that when I am using it. For this light thing, I also ordered a battery pack that can plug into an AC, uh, and plug, AC adapter, so it can plug into uh, the power strip, one of the power strips here, uh, so I don't have to use rechargeable batteries or anything, uh, and that should be here soon, uh, which will help a lot. I don't have to like keep recharging batteries to put inside this thing. Uh, which would be really nice. And like, there's lots of wires and stuff, and it's not the best looking thing in the world, and I'm I'm sure some people will probably be like, oh, your cable management is awful, and just like, I I did the best I could with all the stuff that's happening here, and there's still one more component that I'm, that I'm waiting for that I need because the PS4 Slim, which is what I bought, doesn't have the digital optical audio output. So there's like this other little thing that, I, whatever, it's, there's a lot of stuff happening. I don't know if you care about any of it, but basically the shelf broke. I replaced it. This happened earlier in the week. Uh, it happened at like, by the time I was done picking up all the glass, it took me like an hour and a half to pick up all the glass. It was like midnight. And so like the next morning I came in, actually, the, yeah, the next, not the next morning, the next day when we got back from work, I came in here and I like very thoroughly vacuumed the entire office and I, I got all the glass. I like double checked. Uh, like holding up like a flashlight up against the carpet and like trying to catch to see if there's any glass and I didn't see any uh, like I had, I had seen before I actually did the vacuuming I had seen lots of it all over but then yeah I vacuumed and it was all gone so it should be all good I'm sending this back new shelf is set up the streaming setup slash gaming setup is pretty much all set up how many times can I say the word setup I don't know and I mean obviously it was frustrating when the shelf fell and broke and I had to pick up all the glass but like I'm I'm happy with how the new shelf looks it's it's not gonna shatter like glass so anyway the streaming thing is definitely 100% happening and I I'm pretty sure I have exactly what I want to do with it I hope you will join me uh, on twitch to watch me I'm gonna put links down below to both our our twitch channel and to our fairly abandoned let's play channel here on youtube both are called roads plays it's twitch.tv slash roads plays and uh, the youtube one is a little bit more complicated uh, it doesn't actually have its own like dedicated url but it'll be linked down below and i'm really 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 excited i've been like putting a lot of effort into this i i think it'll be really fun i'm so excited to play kingdom hearts 3 i'm so excited to play through all of kingdom hearts and to play some other games after i'm done with those ones uh, I, I'm not going to like give all my time to this. This isn't going to be like a, this can be like a fun thing to get back into video games a little bit more because I haven't played video games in a long time and I miss it. Uh, I'm going to give myself time to read and do other things. So I'm only going to be doing it a couple nights a week. Well, for during the Kingdom Hearts, I'm going to be doing it for a little bit longer. So what I'm thinking is, uh, and this will be written down below and I'm pretty sure this is like the final thing that I'm going to be doing. Uh, but I will update you if there's any changes. Uh, uh, on like Twitter and stuff, but this is what I'm thinking as for like a final schedule kind of thing. So it'll start, the Kingdom Hearts streaming will start uh, New Year's Eve. So I have to go to work on New Year's Eve. Uh, it's a Monday and Monday night I will be coming home and starting at eight and going from like eight to probably one or two, I'm thinking. Uh, that'll be a little bit longer of a stream because it's New Year's Eve and I think most people probably have New Year's Day off or they can catch a decent amount of it. A lot of people stay up on New Year's Eve anyway and I hope you'll join me and hang out with me on New Year's Eve and I kind of want you to just come and give it a shot just because I think if you do you'll have a lot of fun and you'll, especially if you like 
if you care at all about Disney, uh, and if you even if you don't, there's so much heart and uh, greatness in these games that I think it'll hopefully hook you uh, watching it uh, for those few hours on New Year's Eve, and then you'll want to continue watching and coming back. So every single day, the day after after the Twitch stream, I'm going to upload the video, the the raw video. I'm not going to edit it at all the raw video to the, the Let's Play channel on YouTube. So just in case you missed it or missed any chunk of it or whatever, or missed any part of it, then you can go watch it. Uh, now for Kingdom Hearts, like you kind of like travel around these different worlds and stuff and it is linear in a lot of ways, but at the same time, I feel like you can miss some and still come back and like still have a pretty good idea of what's going on. Uh, and, but there are, there are, the YouTube videos will be there. The, the uploads will be there. The re-uploads from Twitch will be there on the YouTube channel, Rhodes Plays, for you to watch if you want to. So that will be the very first stream and I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna do Mondays, Wednesdays, and I think Fridays and Saturdays for Kingdom Hearts because I wanna get through uh, the first couple games, the first games uh, before the third one that comes out at the end of January. I wanna get through those semi-quickly-ish. I might just do Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays for Kingdom Hearts and then uh, going forward after that, I know for a fact I want to play The Last of Us, the remastered version for PS4. I'm going to play The Last of Us on stream, which is one of my favorite games of all time. One of the most beautiful games ever made. And after that, I'm going to be blind, doing a blind playthrough of Spider-Man, the new PS4 game that came out a couple months ago that I've never played before or haven't really seen anyone play before. So I'm really excited for that. That will definitely only be three days a week and maybe even only two days a week for for like going forward. Uh, it really depends, but I'm pretty positive that's how I'm going to do it. So I hope you can watch in some form and join in and enjoy it. I, I want to share. Uh, the reason I'm doing this, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm literally going to do this anyway, like even if I wasn't streaming it. Uh, it's something that I've been, I just am going to do. And I feel like I have an opportunity to share it with people, like share the playthrough with people. And so I want to do that. I want people who haven't experienced it before or even have experienced it before to experience it with me because I love it and I want to share it with you really badly. Uh, I want to share the whole experience with Giselle. Uh, she's going to be watching the whole thing and I hope you'll follow along. I want to share these games. I want to share The Last of Us and maybe some other games going forward. You never know. I, I'm hoping to keep it regular. I'm hoping to do it only a couple, a few nights a week just uh, so I can give myself other time to do other things I really want to read. Still, obviously, uh, I want, I'm going to make sure I'm giving myself the time to read that I want. I've been kind of working on uh, a story idea of a little bit of a, a little of a, a little bit of a book idea that I'm I'm really hoping that I'll continue to work on through 2019. So I'm going to give myself time for that as well. And of course, I'm going to be vlogging. Like this sounds like a lot. Obviously, I know I'm going back to like my old ways of like trying to take on a lot of stuff. But I'm thinking I'll probably edit vlogs on weekends. I'll do my streams a few nights a week. I'll read and, and maybe do some writing uh, on the weeknights and weekends that I'm not doing certain things. And then uh, I'm sure there'll be probably like movies that I want to go see next year, plenty of movies that I want to go see next year. Uh, that's why I'm not making it Thursdays ever and why I probably will not do Fridays after Kingdom Hearts. It sounds like a lot and it is a lot. I know I've been flaking in the past. I'm sure you're, you might even be thinking to yourself like, hey, Chris, what about BookTube? What is happening with BookTube? Like, you haven't uploaded since the summer. And the reason for that is I was pretty unhappy with some of the videos, the like the couple of videos that I made uh, on for BookTube during the summer. Uh, it's not exactly the format that I feel like I want to do. I've been th I haven't made anything, but I have been thinking about it a lot. I still want to make content about books, and maybe I'll even talk more about books here like the fact that I'm currently uh, reading the Cormoran Strike series for the third time this year. I'm going to be reading it probably all the way through again because I've just fallen in love with it even more than I, I... I really liked it when I first read through the whole thing and then Lethal White came out and I read through all of them again to re remind myself of stuff. And I did that like a couple of months in advance before Lethal White came out and then I read them all again before Lethal White came out, like right before. And now I'm like, I just started reading them all again. I'm already on, like halfway through the second one. I, I Maybe I'll talk more about books and stuff on here, but like I do want to make book content, book videos on my booktube channel, the channel that has way more subscribers than this one does. But I just want it to be something that I'm happy with 
and that I feel happy with putting out. And I just wasn't feeling that about because I tried making a couple more videos after those two that I made like in the summertime and they just weren't working for me at all. So anyway, it's a lot of stuff I'm taking on like like I, I have in the past. Uh, we're going to see how it goes. I know I've like fallen out of like vlogging and stuff here and there and making videos here and there. But this is this is something I'm going to try and I really hope that you will join me. Uh, I know for a fact it's going to be it's going to happen for the entirety of Kingdom Hearts at the very least. Uh, so I hope that you, at the very least you'll join me for all of that and just experience it because I love it and I want to share it with you. So let's move on to something else now. one done. Chris thought we should show the mess that is we okay so I went to Dollar Tree last night and Chris said come back with a lot of wrapping paper so I did and it's fine so we have Harry Potter wrapping paper I accidentally cut something the wrong size so here it is over here I'll use um, that. yeah I figured we can do that so that's fine we have two Harry Potter rolls we have adventures we have specifically just Spider-Man. Uh, we have some like, just like normal ones that are just like Christmassy. This one has trees, this one has like snowflakes, deer, and more snowflakes, and then Mickey. So we have all those. And then we also bought a ton of bows as well. There's a lot of them. And uh, there's like more ribbon in here as well. And there's also more bows and we also have these little ones that have bows on them. And then I also ended up getting these. My family didn't use these all the time, so I'm not like super used to doing this, but that's fine. And then my family just like wrote straight on it, everyone's names. I but like Chris, these, they're very Christmassy. I Chris like likes them. these, so I'm okay with it. And then we also got this one, which has freaking unicorns on it. And a, and a sloth riding a unicorn, so I'm gonna use some of these. So I figured we can use these for like, the normal like presents, but I have all these tiny little blue boxes under here. <laughs> and so I figured I could just put these on there since they're small and I'm just gonna stick them underneath. And there's already a ton of presents under the tree and they're all for Christopher. Because Giselle is crazy. Isn't I, the truth? <laughs> I don't have nearly this much stuff to give you, but Basically, she went she went nuts and got me a ton of stuff. Okay, but basically look at it this way All these little boxes and that little red one as well are all the same present just wrapped individually They all go together though So they basically are one present. I just think it's funny that she got me so much stuff. It's just crazy okay. And I I, spoil you. I I got her more stuff that hasn't come yet and I have some other presents for my family that have just come some stuff that's still waiting to come. Uh, I'm not going to wrap anything until I have everything because I just want to make sure I have everything in order. I want to make sure I have everything that I, that I got because, and the reason we're putting these labels, we're making sure we put labels on everything is because I think I mentioned before, we're going to have a ton of people there, me and my parents and <laughs> Giselle and my sister and Arthur and Madison. And it's just like, we need, we're going to have lots of presents on the tree, a whole lot of presents, everybody giving presents to everybody. So I want to make sure that nothing gets like lost, not lost, but like it doesn't, it, I want to make sure I know what everything is yeah, before I wrap cause everything. Yeah, any confusion or and, you're not sure if you got something. Yeah. And I quickly want to add that I think it's hysterical when he says there's going to be a ton of people there and it's literally like less than eight, which is the size of my family, That's... not including all my nieces and nephews and like in-laws and stuff like my family all together is like 25 people just like my direct like family i don't know to me it feels like a lot of people <laughs> so and he's like there's gonna be like seven people there holy smokes it, it is it's gonna be a lot of people and uh well i just there's gonna be a lot of presents like because my we we usually get a lot of stuff for everybody like everybody gets a lot of stuff for everybody else so there's gonna, it's just gonna be a giant mess and i just want to make sure Everybody gets the stuff that I 
that I want them to get. Uh, so I'm gonna, we're gonna kind of put everything aside for now, and um, I still have a few things that are coming. There's something big for Giselle coming mm -hmm. on Monday that she, I need to like make sure she doesn't see because I don't know what the packaging looks like. Yeah, and tomorrow he'll probably just have me wait in the car after work and just like wait here for a minute let me go grab i'll probably it. have to hide it in the trunk of the car until i'm ready to wrap it all but anyway yeah so giselle got some awesome wrapping paper we got some giselle bought some bows giselle bought all these like bows and uh she got, for some reason she decided to get some really big bows she put really a really big bow on one of my presents under there for some reason but it's very cute and when i came back from the store last night and said here i bought eight rolls a freaking paper. Chris says, I don't think that's gonna be enough. Well, Are you kidding they're me? They're all from the Dollar Tree, so they're really short rolls. They're not like, necessarily. But I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll see. Plus, honestly, I went to a few other places. Like, I went to, like, Michael's, and I went to Five Below, and they both had rolls of paper as well, and their prints were garbage. Yeah. And I was like, holy cow, Dollar Tree is the place to I go. I mean, for Dollar Tree, yeah, that's, they did pretty good with their, like, I prints. really like all of these. I had such a hard time deciding what to get. There were, like, four other ones that I wanted to get, and I'm like, this is too much wrapping paper, so I didn't. But honestly, they had, like, the best prints out of all the places I went to. It's just, the thing that's coming tomorrow on Monday for Giselle is, like, I'm gonna need a lot of wrapping paper for it. So, that's the only thing that I'm worried about. At least because, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. But. I think it'll, I think it'll be fine. I just don't want to use all of, like, one print without... I didn't want to, have to use all one print without her getting to use any of them, but she wrapped all my stuff already, so I don't have almost. to worry about it. She... Almost. What? <laughs> Stop getting me stuff. <laughs> of the day time um so we ended up buying this shirt which we showed um in the vlog that was thanksgiving this I it was, was it was after thanksgiving after thanksgiving yeah. the vlog after thanksgiving this one doesn't want to light up there we go they light with motion so some of them don't light up as well anyway it's my stranger things shirt my christmas sweater but i walked into work and i was like they have a blue pair of light bulb earrings i bet they're the perfect shade and i walked up they are the perfect shade of blue yeah the, so wait to go with that yeah the blue ones so and she wore she did she does have red ones but she wore them yesterday i have green ones green ones right that anyway, i wore yesterday which are which are pretty close to these ones which actually i ended up buying a red pair as well because oh, <laughs> i just really love how they look and then i also have my green pair in here which the other one fell out. It's in here. Ah, there we go. So I love the green ones. I wore them yesterday and I just thought they were so fun that I was like, okay, I want these blue ones and these red ones. So now I have some of the best earrings that I've ever owned in my whole life. So that's my outfit of the day. And I just felt so festive and fun all day. And a lot of like older people commented on my sweater and they're like, oh, I love your sweater. I'm a hundred percent sure that none of them knew what it was from. But that's fine. <laughs> anyway, let's sit down. So over the past few months, we've been getting a t in a ton of like freight for Christmas, not just specifically for Christmas, but like a lot of like, not books, but like in the gift area, really get swamped this time of year. And the books do as well, but we're able to keep up with it better. But gifts always gets really like bogged down. Our favorite time of the vlog. It's the screaming fridge time. <laughs> anyway, um, it really gets bogged down and I noticed that like last year and they didn't have, they don't have as much people as they did last year. They had extra people. So I, I don't know. I just offered to help a lot whenever they needed help, like stickering or putting things out or whatever, just to help in gifts if I wasn't needed in books, like if all the books were done and everything. And I just did it because I like to be busy and it makes the day go by faster. So like I'm doing it to help myself really. And I would stay late some nights, which means I got paid a little bit more. So it was a hundred percent selfish. Be mostly because I am, I have to stay a lot late yeah. a lot. Like tonight I stayed until like 6.20 or something like that. We and just, we just got back home. It's almost seven. So yeah. And it's like, if I can be working, if I'm going to be sitting in the store anyway, like I would prefer to be working than to just be sitting there unless I'm really tired. So I just offered a lot and they took me up on it a lot. The gift 
buyer, the person in charge of everything, Nicole, just like used me a lot all the past few months to help with things. And I was just doing it, like I said, 100% selfish reasons and just because I like to be busy, like, and I'm getting paid for it, like I should be working. And so she ended up um, doing something ridiculous. <laughs> and she got me this big bag, this big unicorn bag, which it's huge and it's full of presents. I already opened it, but Chris hasn't seen any of the stuff. I haven't in there, seen anything in it yet. So I thought I would show. Um, as you can see, it's a Christmassy unicorn bag, which I don't know how she found this, but she's like, I saw it. And I'm, I'm not like, surprised it exists. Unicorn stuff is everywhere now. <laughs> but there are unicorns wearing scarves. It's perfect. And so she, I don't know, she just it was very sweet of her and she definitely didn't need to do it at all and she's like you were just so helpful i don't know how i would have, would have gotten through everything this like this season without you i was like oh i don't know so it was really awkward but she was very kind and so let's go through all the stuff in here <laughs> lots of tissue paper i don't even know where to start there's so much stuff so <laughs> first she got Okay, so basically how this comes about is that every time something unicorn comes into the store, I would like freak out and be like, oh my gosh. And last year, especially last Christmas, I, as you guys saw in this vlog that is being popped up up here, this vlog, Chris, I ended up getting him like a bajillion, a bajillion unicorn things from work. Like a lot of stuffed animals and some pens and like a lot of stuff. And so... Now it's like the store joke that like whenever anything unicorn comes in, they're like, I gotta go show Giselle. Cause Giselle needs to see all this unicorn stuff. And I buy everything unicorn now. <sighs> and so she, <laughs> she got me a unicorn bag. She got me this little unicorn dish. Wow, I love it. Which is like for jewelry, obviously. Yeah, um, great. I already have one, but this one is glorious. So I'm going to keep them both. <laughs> most of these she didn't get at work she just was sh out shopping with her fiance at different times over the past few months she's been buying this stuff for like a month and a half stocking it up for me i'm like what are you doing but she ended up getting me these three kind of go together uh she ended up getting me some stickers some puppy stickers <laughs> or nice. unicorns and then she also ended up getting me a pen which has little unicorns in it and they yeah. like flow up and down, <laughs> <laughs> which I think is so cute. And she said, this is something that she actually did get in the store. And I was like, I never saw that. And she was like, I know as soon as it came in, I put it out and hid it, like hid it in the floor somewhere where she didn't think I'd look so that I wouldn't see it and buy it. <laughs> I was like, nice. oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that. And then she also bought me a cute journal. <laughs> it says stay magical. Oh, she's so cute. And made with, made with, 60% recycled fiber and yeah it's just a lined journal which y'all know I love my journals <laughs> I can add it to the shelf and then yes there's more stuff she ended up getting me this which I don't know I think I'm gonna re-gift to Madison our niece because it's this little unicorn trinket tray and this she got from work as well because I saw it and I almost bought it for Madison for Christmas and then I was like I don't know maybe I shouldn't so I didn't I decided not to like last minute I like put it back and I'm like I'm not gonna get it and then she gave it to me and I'm like okay this is a sign I have to give it to Madison because I don't need three trinket trays for my jewelry so anyway she, she was like yes she's like rig after any of it that you need to <laughs> and then uh she got me this which is a mug she got me so much stuff <laughs> this is absurd nice create something magical and I was like it's perfect because these are Christopher's and my colors yeah mine is green purple. and Christopher's is purple and we had like matching like what is it called spatulas and stuff which have both broken that were these exact colors so now we have this as well anyway and it has a normal sized handle as well a lot of like novelty unicorn mugs have little tiny handles that you can't put your hand through, so I'm really excited, and it's huge. And then she got me one more thing. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's so it's, cute. Oh. Is it, it going to go with the other the other family of unicorns that I, I have on the desk? or? I think I'm going to put it there, but I also may keep it on the bed. Just feel how soft it is. Oh, yeah. It's so, it's so soft. soft and fluffy. But I'm also afraid to sleep on it because... It's a, 
Ed's thing is really cute. It's really <laughs> it's cute. It's really cute. <laughs> it's adorable. But I'm also afraid to sleep on it because my hair is dyed. Yeah. So I don't want to, like, turn the unicorn pink. But it's super, super soft. Like, imagine how soft it looks and then magnify that by, like, 100. It's so soft. And she got me all this ridiculous unicorn stuff just because I helped her for a little bit in the back room. Like... She's ridiculous. I can't believe she did this. And she definitely didn't need to at all. It was not deserved at all. But thank you, Nicole. She'll never watch this. She doesn't know the vlog exists. But I really appreciate it. And it was it was definitely way above and beyond. So anyway. That's awesome. Unicorns. <laughs> but I guess on this magical note, uh, the vlog's over. Time to start a new one. I hope you enjoyed this one. Hit that like button. Just kidding. Don't do <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself. I mean, Goodbye. You can, you can. <laughs> I just adverted disaster. I almost brushed my teeth. And I haven't gone to the admit calendar yet, which means I would have missed a day. This, and then brushing my teeth. And then going to bed. Because it's... Kind of late.